Hi, my name is James Gorry. In today's video, we're going to learn how to make up a herbicide mix, go and spray some weeds. We're going to use a knapsack and we're going to mix up glyphosate. So anyway, let's go and spray some weeds. So follow me. Okay, so what we have is the chemical store. Uh, we've got a chemical sign that's made of steel. So you can hose it down at the end of the day. There's no wooden parts. Okay, let's have a look here. First I'll just put my glasses on so I can see. And just stand back a bit. Okay, as you can see, I've got my uh, basically weed killer. It's glyphosate, 360 grams of glyphosate. What we're doing, avoid contact with eyes and skin. Okay, wash hands after use. Okay, that's all pretty straightforward. First aid, if poisoning occurs, if poisoning occurs, contact the doctor. Now I just want to work out my chemical rate. Weeds and grasses, that's what I'll be spraying today. Kikuya paspalum, yep, 10 mil per one litre. So I've got to add 10 mil of this chemical to every litre of water. Okay, and PPE, okay, let's have a look at PPE. I've got my washable hat, so at the end of the day, I can put that in the wash and run it through the machine. Okay, and then I have my glasses, protective glasses, washable hat. Can you see my boots? Long pants, long sleeve shirt, and I've just got to do my button up. And my button up there okay so I've got my PPE on now if you wish you can get a mask or if you read the label it doesn't suggest a mask or it doesn't say respirate anything it is optional if you want you can put a mask on it won't hurt okay it's up to you all right and we've got our gloves of course so let's just put that in there Okay, you can see I've got my knapsack, and I've got my chemical, I've got my measuring jug, and I've got my PPE. It's always good just to put it on a shelf somewhere, it makes it a bit easier. And I've got boots on, long trousers, long sleeve shirt, washable hat, eyewear, and gloves. Okay, so if I want to make up five litres, what we'll do first is, we want to get our hose. What we want to do is find our five litres. Okay, that's our five litre mark, so we're just going to put about half water. That's it. So we've got about two and a half litres of water. Then we add our chemical. Now, if you're doing a big quick spray unit, and the quick spray unit had, say, 600 litres, you might add 100, 200 litres of water, add your some chemical. Another 200 litres of water, add chemical. The last 200 litres of water, then add chemical. Basically, add your water and your chemical throughout a large tank. Don't just fill the whole tank up and then add your chemical because you've got to mix it in. Okay, so if we're making up five litres of water and it was 10 mil per litre, that needs that means we need 50 mil of chemical. Okay, so we want our 50 mil of chemical. Yes, <laughs> come in close, have a look. So, how's that look? 50 mil. Oh, we got our 50 mil. What do you reckon? Yep. Now, we've, we've, this is empty virtually. Virtually empty. I'll show you what to do. Okay, so what we do is we add our chemical, our glyphosate. Now, we want to triple rinse this three times. Right. Just slow the flow down a little bit. Not so much. Put some water in. Just so the next time you go to use this measuring jug, it's nice and clean, it's clean for the next person. So we just give our measuring jug three rinses. Okay. And that measuring jug is good, just good for the next person, okay? So that's nice and clean. Now what we've got is an empty. 
That's vir it's virtually empty container now. Now this is the time when you've got an empty to put some water in there, swish it round and get all your residue out. Swish it round. So we're going to get the residue out. Put that in there. <coughs> so we put the lid on, give it a swish, like that, put the lid off, and so we've basically got the majority of the residue is out in our spray pack. Now this container, if it had a Drum Master logo, it can be recycled, okay? So we've triple rinsed it three times, that's ready for recycling. Okay, now. What I do next is fill it up to our 5 litre mark. It's pretty much there. That's it. It's our 5 litre mark. Now I like to, um, at the end of that process, I just like to give the whole thing a bit of a hose down. So if there's any chemicals spilt, yeah, equipment's clean, and if there's any chemicals spilt, it's just run off. Wash your hands. Put your hands there. Yes. Okay, now we're right to go spraying. 44 gallon drum or something like that gives you a bit of height. It's definitely a lot easier to put on. Okay. There it is. Yeah. One, two. I like to give it about 10 pumps, just shake it a little bit, so it's stirred up. Okay, as you can see we've got some weeds, so let's just test our nozzle first. Just adjust it a bit. That's yeah, not too bad, just adjust it a little bit more. It's okay. So you can see here, just clean up these weeds here. So, we don't want to saturate the plant, we just want to get good coverage. That's it, now see that plant, that's heaps of coverage. Same with having a little bit of weed here. That's it, that's heaps of coverage. Okay. okay, you can see I'm right at the end. I'll pump it up a few times. And it's a little bit of liquid, but mostly air. Once you get to this point, just run it out. There's hardly anything left. See all the air now. Virtually finished, alright. Come over here. Get a hose. Okay, now we just want to add a bit of water. Okay, so what I'm going to do is give that a few pumps. I just want to run some clean water through. There we go. So it's got a bit of clean water coming through now. That's it. Now I, I actually leave that for the next person because it's got clean water in there. It's got water all through, water through the nozzle, a little bit of residue. Now, if you're out spraying every week or every fortnight, every month, I just leave that. Uh, so that all we know it's got fresh, a little bit of fresh water in it. Fresh water's been flushed through. If you want, you can take the lid off empty it totally it just if, if it just depends at what part of the season if you're out there spraying regularly i leave it as it is but if we're going to sit it over the dry season and you take your lid off empty it out put it back in your shed now i've got you can see here i need to wash my gloves down get the gloves clean take them off a bit yes. Yeah, give them give this a bit of a hose down, that's good. Let that go. Turn it off. Give that a bit of a hose, wash your hands. Okay, now. These clothes I can put in the washing machine at the end of the week or the end of the day, really the end of the spraying session. So these all go in the wash. Your boots will be left outside, don't wear them in the house. 
your washable hat will be thrown in the washing machine as well. Follow me. Just come in here. All right, I've just hung these up to dry because they were add water on them, so they're right to dry. And we're going to put everything away back in the shed. I'm going to just put everything away back in the shed. And that's it. Go Hi, my name is James Gorry. Now, we sprayed this area seven days ago. Okay, so we sprayed this area. So now we're going to go back, inspect our work, have a look at what kill rate we got. And we're going to always, when you've sprayed weeds, always go back seven, ten days and have a look and make sure and see what kill rate you've got and record what you've done, okay? So follow me, let's go and have a look. And down here, I sprayed that, remember? Now as you can see, it's pretty well dead in seven days. It's very dead. And I also sprayed this area, okay? Now you can see they've got a bit of greenery in them. Come in close. They got no, but then I can't see you or the thing. Well, come in close and have a look at these weeds. So you can see there's a bit of greenery there, but it's yellowing. Some of it's brown. It's going backwards. It's definitely dying. I reckon within 10 days that'll be dead. Yeah. Again, it's dying off. It's yellowing. It's going off. Mm -hmm. oh, you can see this is pretty well dead grass here. And you can see over here, we sprayed this. And uh, it's yellowing. It's going off. Okay, so basically it's been seven days. We've got a pretty good kill rate. Give it another five, six, seven days, and I reckon we're gonna get a 100% kill rate. So anyway, now what you need to do is write in your diary, and you need to give it a rate. At this point, seven days later, we're looking at about a 90% kill rate. Okay. Stop. All good.